In 2013, a study conducted in the UK shows the carbon footprint for one cataract operation was 182 kilograms of carbon dioxide. To put this into perspective, this is roughly the same emissions as driving a car 500 kilometers. With over 28 million cataract surgeries taking place each year, this adds to the growing burden of climate change. We asked some ophthalmologists what is the biggest contributor to carbon emissions within their interior segment practices, and many shared the same answer. Procurement. Procurement. Main drivers of carbon emissions of anterior segment surgery are procurements, especially plastic disposables, and transportation. Look at this pie chart. It shows the primary areas of greenhouse gas emissions as a result of a patient undergoing their first cataract surgery. Over half of the emissions come from procurement for which pharmaceutical and medical equipment are the main contributors. So it's all the disposables and things that are ordered for a single case that have the biggest impact, and that's where we can really make a difference. When we've looked at richer countries like the, the UK, Australia, and New Zealand, the main sources of carbon emissions from cataract surgery come from procurement. And that means from the consumption of single-use items, things like the tubing and cassettes from the FACO machine, but also lots of single-use things that we use during the surgery and all the packaging that comes with that. It's no secret that the healthcare sector is a major contributor to waste and carbon emissions. The healthcare sector accounts for ne nearly 9% of all greenhouse gas emissions in the United States. Look at this chart. It shows the breakdown of contributions of greenhouse gas emissions within the healthcare sector in the US. You can see that emissions are concentrated in the supply chain, which contributes the lion's share at approximately 80%. Emission reductions in the supply chain should be prioritized to make the largest impact. But how? To learn more, we turn our eyes to the southern Indian state of Tamil Nadu, where the Aravind eye care system has developed a sustainable, environmentally friendly cataract surgery model. FACO emulsification at the Aravind hospital, on average, generates only six kilograms of carbon dioxide roughly the same emissions as driving a car 25 kilometers, a fraction of the impact from the same procedure in the UK. To achieve this amazing result, Aravan combines various methods such as reusing surgical gowns, blankets, and instruments, as well as separating surgical supplies which are contaminated and require sterilization from those that do not pose a safety risk and can be sterilized at the end of the day. Unfortunately, Many developed countries face greater regulatory barriers in replicating the Aravand model. Well, as ophthalmologists, our operating rooms are subjected to countless rules and regulations, and many of these are not evidence-based. This causes a lot of drug and supply waste, uh, much of which uh, is probably unnecessary, and this inflates both the cost and the carbon footprint of ophthalmic surgery. Dr. Jang and colleagues conducted an online survey of more than 1,300 cataract surgeons and nurses. According to the study, 93% of respondents agreed that manufacturers should offer more reusable instruments and supplies. And 87% agree that their medical societies should advocate for the reduction of carbon footprints in operating rooms. The efforts can not only come from the manufacturers and societies, but can also come from the surgeons who use the supplies every day. Because of our, our large procedural volume in ophthalmology, we have a unique opportunity and obligation to do something about this. So demand of your suppliers to get rid of unnecessary plastics. Uh, you don't want to pay for them and pay for their waste as well. Uh, try to limit post-operative uh, visits, uh, change to uh, telemedicine. So if you look at the individual items that are in your custom packs, not all surgeons may be using all the items every single case. And if there are things that are just not routinely used and are being thrown out, that's an easy place to have a big impact on reducing waste. Is what can each of us do to try and reduce the emissions from cataract surgery? The priority is, is reducing consumption. This means reuse of items that we're using in our surgery. That might mean gowns and drapes, so that we're not using individually wrapped and uh, single-use items countless times in a single list, but also reusable blades, such as diamond knives, which can be sterilized. 
Some members of uh, industry are starting to create reusable cassettes and tubing for the cataract surgery machine, the FACO machine. Uh, so these are some of the ways that we should move towards a reusable system for cataract surgery uh, to emulate our, our colleagues in India who are already achieving much more sustainable practice than we do. Climate change is happening, whether we like it or not. While much environmental damage has already been done, there is still time to change the way we operate to reduce ophthalmology's contribution to carbon emissions. Even small changes can make a big impact.